Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call gameplay video. Today I am going to be doing the End of Days quest. It starts at the Rinthid encampment and you're going to talk to On Ultra. On Ultra? I don't know. Uh, they will tell you to go to some coordinates, 62.7 south, 66.6 west. This quest, like most of the other ones in uh, Rinthid, is restricted to level 180 plus. Uh, re rewards about 300 million experience, if I remember correctly, and 15,000 luminance. So pretty good. Uh, it's best done in kind of a quest chain. We typically, on Levistress, every night will run Rinthid Tentacle Weapons, and from there we'll go to Lugian Assault. And then from Lugian Assault, to end of days. It's uh, the most efficient in terms of running between the three uh, quest locations. And, you know, the luminous reward for the time spent uh, gets really good. So you don't actually need to run directly through uh, into the platforms. You can kind of run around them a little bit. And it's pretty obvious where this dungeon is because there's an on tower there. You can kind of see it over here in the distance. Um, I'm not even actually sure if these coordinates point directly to where you're supposed to go, but you can't miss it with the uh, with the long tower. So it's a pretty short run. Uh, like I said, you can run around the outskirts if you're worried about the rim. That you really only need to run through like a very short stretch. And here we go, uh, Bak Baktar's Tower. All right, once you're inside, we're going to make our way through the dungeon. It's basically linear. The only exception to the fact that it's linear is that the um, tomb rocks in here summon this corrupted energy. And if you walk into this corrupted energy or get hit by it, um, you're going to get portaled back to the start of the dungeon and have to do it all over again. So what we're going to do to avoid this is we're just going to hug the walls of the dungeon Hopefully not getting killed by any Verindi rings while we're doing that. Actually, let me heal while I'm saying that. So yeah, uh, you're just gonna have to be careful. Take the turns slowly so you don't like overdo the turns. And then the last trick is that near the end, you're gonna have a lot of aggro on you, if, especially if you're doing this solo, because all the Verindy will be after you. I don't know what I just got hit by. Eye of the Tempest. So there's one spot where there's a Corazite chest down below, uh, which is right here at the end. You're gonna make a left, go down around. This is the best way to get rid of any aggro. We basically, we come down here, we hang out for a couple of seconds, let all the Verindy that were following us get off, and then we can continue through, <clears throat> excuse me, to the end of the dungeon and finish the quest. So what we're gonna do here at the end is we're going to fight a large hollow minion. When you kill a hollow minion, it's going to summon a portal into the actual boss room where there is an on tomb rock and our rewards so just gonna give it a second here waiting for the rest of our party and then we'll go once your you know whole group is good you got all the aggro cleared you can head up to the top make sure everyone's with you again go to the left into this final room where you will find tormented watcher A little bit wonky with a whole bunch of people running around. But it's immune, uh, not immune, it's weak to cold typically. And what I like to do, uh, my strategy is to run up to it, throw. Um, 
my summon down as close as possible. Hopefully it aggroes with the hollow instead of all the Verindy. All right, awesome. So once you kill it, basically this swirling portal will appear. You're gonna run into that. And like I said, this is the actual boss fight where we're gonna fight Bakhtar, since this is Bakhtar's tower. And there we go. When you kill Bakhtar, it's gonna say, portal energy swirls throughout the chamber, littering the area with tomb rock loot as Bakhtar crumbles to the floor. You have to kill this tormented charge. If you don't kill the tormented charge, you are just going to keep getting shot at by these sparkling crystals on the side of the room. But once the tormented charge is, is dead, the sparkling crystals will disappear. When Bokhtar is dead, a whole bunch of legendary keys will spawn on the floor. You can pick up one. That's on a 20 hour timer. And then you can loop Bokhtar and grab a Crimson Scarab. And then we'll head back to the Rinted Camp to get our rewards. Once you're back at the encampment, you're just going to head over to On Ultra and give them the Crimson Scarab for 15,900 luminance with a 6% trinket, 8 trade notes, and actually one of the best rewards for this quest is the Purified Crimson Scarab. It is a trinket that you know you can wear in your six percent xp trinket slot and it has legendary focus which you can't get trinkets with legendary um stats on them abilities so this is the only trinket in the game that provides legendary focus which is really nice uh if it helps you build out your suit the only thing that i don't like is that it's uh the imbues on it aren't great it's got augmented health three augmented mana three and augmented stamina one so like on my trinket that i like to use which is uh legendary invuln and then i have augmented damage three augmented damage reduction one and augmented health two so i think that those are maybe just like i, I prefer that to you know augmented mana i don't need more mana i very rarely use my mana as it is so but anyway it's still a really good reward and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video this is a fun quest it's really good to do in a group after doing like lugin assault and rinted tentacle weapons and yeah uh if you did like this video please press that like button please subscribe to the channel it really does help me out and thanks for watching bye